We're going to try and pull almost 300 ton today with this little battery electric micro shunter and I don't like our chances one bit if I'm honest with you. Uh, our traction motor temps are cooking. We are absolutely cooking our motors right now. This hill is proving too much for this little battery electric. Oh, there it goes. This thing is useless. Oh, we're going into the red. I normally don't drive like this. Okay, we are pushing it now. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Hello everyone, this is Derail Valley Simulator and this is episode 17 of my career mode. If you haven't checked out the previous episodes, you can find them in the description below. Go ahead and check them out now if you like. Now in the last episode, that was sometime in November last year actually, so a few months ago now. And uh, yeah, we did actually use career mode to unlock this micro shunter, this battery electric vehicle. Uh, that we are in right now but uh, a little bit more on that later um, if you do want to check out episode 16 by the way I'll put a card up above right now if you want to check that out but in today's episode we are here at basically at uh, Iron Ore Mine West okay and basically what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be trying to continue our career run and just see what jobs we have available to us here and I'm thinking maybe I will take the battery electric shunter and maybe see if I can't uh, take some cargo to uh to its destination today and uh the battery electric shunter unfortunately the micro shunter can't really haul very heavy load so i'm gonna have to choose something quite small unfortunately uh and hopefully lightweight or lighter so i'm looking at these three rail cars right here that look to be full of iron ore and uh, these will still be quite heavy but there's only three of these carriages here so maybe i will hook these up and take them where they need to go in career mode today. This is going to be the first time I'm driving the micro shunter for real on an actual career mode job, okay? And we'll see how far we can get with this little shunter today. And uh, hopefully we don't uh, cause any trouble. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we can do the needful. So let's have a look at the stats so far in career mode. We are basically, we've got 124K uh, in the old bank. And we can see there we've got uh, 13 licenses out of the 22 total. Now, um, our copay is a little bit high at around 76 grand. But um, yeah, I think it's manageable anyway. So we'll see what jobs we've got available to us. We can see here that there's a few shunting jobs which I'm not really interested in. But just before we do, I just want to convey to you just how useless this little battery electric shunter, this little locomotive that I'm hoping to drive today, just how useless it is. Uh, you can see there that it can tow 800 ton, can pull 800 ton on the level, but the moment you hit a 2% uphill, uh, that sinks right down to 100 ton rated, okay? And uh, that's that's not very much at all in the grand scheme of things. So yes, today should be a very, very interesting run indeed if we decide to take some of these iron ore wagons out of here. I think you'll agree. But we'll deal with that later. Let's have a look at this freight haul job already. So this is those three wagons I was just showing you before in the yard. So this is taking them to the steel mill, 258 ton. So it's gonna be uh, more than twice the, uh, the rating rated sort of capacity, I guess you could say. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be quite a challenge, I think, to take these to the steel mill, especially when you consider that all we have is our little EV micro shunter. So yeah, like to uh, push the bounds here, don't we, in uh, career mode. Right, so let's uh, get into this little micro shunter and make our way over to those three wagons. Uh, hitch up to them and then begin our career mode job the first one that we'll be doing with this little micro shunter now I did do a bit of a first look for this micro shunter and I've got a card up above if you want to check that out right now otherwise let's get this thing moving it's a uh, it's only a little battery powered thing so it's uh, more or less a little golf cart in comparison to the other locomotives in the game and uh, I'm not actually sure if it's gonna make it today uh, Maybe we'll end up reverting back to one of the other locomotives, who knows? But we have to give this a red hot go, I guess. This is more of a utility locomotive. It's more just for shunting wagons around the yard, you know, on level ground. It's not meant for doing these big jobs over the hilly terrain that you may encounter within the game. And that's exactly what we're going to be using it for today. So, um, yeah going to be an interesting one indeed okay so just backing up here and need to get onto the right uh, siding and uh, yeah we should be uh, getting back 
towards those wagons very shortly now. Whoops, once I can figure out, uh, once I can remember what I'm doing, that is. Need to throw these points over first. There we go. Whoops, and uh, it's running away into the tunnel here. It's a good thing that it's not really downhill. I'm trying to get in here. <laughs> that would help. Okay. Right, so we'll go and hitch up to these wagons. Whoops, a little bit too much power there. We've got a full charge of batteries. So um, I think from a, a range point of view, we should be okay. We're just going to the steel mill, so it's not actually a long way to go. Uh, but yes, we'll, uh, we'll see how far we get with this little thing anyway, because we are going to be trying to haul some pretty heavy weight today. Uh, almost 300 ton with this thing, and uh, yeah, it can only really do about 100, as we saw, according to the catalog just before. So we'll see how we go, won't we? Right, let's connect up to these uh, carriages. Nice and easy, more or less. <laughs> now this thing is dwarfed by the size of these iron ore wagons. Look at this, look at this utter insanity. We're gonna try and pull almost 300 ton today with this little battery electric micro shunter and I don't like our chances one bit if I'm honest with you. But I'd be lying if I, uh, if I didn't say I wanted to give it a go and just see what happens because Surely there can't be that many hills on the way to Steel Mill from up here. We're basically on the uh, northwestern tip of the map right now. And if you do know Derail Valley, and some of you may, some of you may not, the terrain within this uh, game, I guess, it really does vary wildly, uh, incline-wise, depending on just where you are. And you could be in a place where you've got a lot of downhills ahead of you and level ground, so you might just be lucky. But yes, I do believe we do have some inclines ahead of us and we'll just have to see how we go. Maybe if we've got enough momentum, we'll be okay. But we just don't know that until we try it. And try we will today. So let's get everything set up. We've got our map. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a real quick kind of uh, briefing on where we're gonna be going today. So Northwestern tip, Iron Ore Mine West. We're gonna make our way down with this little micro shunter, this little battery electric, little EV. Um, I think for the most part, we've got a good um, stretch of downhill, but there are some hills along the way, and there's a bit of a hilly section coming up into the steel mill, which is right there in the middle of the map, which is our destination today. So yes, I will be lying if I said that there's no hills at all. I believe there's a few inclines just coming out of here along this little section. Uh, just before we hit machine factory in town, but the good news is if we do hit issues So I can just go to machine factory in town there um, And then we should be okay to probably switch over to a different locomotive if we need to but once we're past machine factory in town I think we should be okay uh, If we still have this battery electric EV by then that is But um, yeah, we'll just have to see how we go Wow, okay, I'll put some throttle on as you can see, and this thing is really not doing much at all. It has a very low ratio gearbox, which means it has low speed and high torque, but that, uh, unfortunately, we've got quite a heavy load behind us. I'm just making sure the brakes are even off right now, and they are, unfortunately, so um, there's no excuses now for this poor performance, aside from the fact that I've grossly overloaded this thing. Okay, I think we're moving, so that's always a good sign. We've got about half throttle on. Got a full charge of battery, as I just mentioned before. Just put slightly over half throttle so far. And we are crawling out of the yard. Okay, so we'll just stick with this and see how far we go. I'll probably go to full throttle very shortly. Just trying to keep the amps in check. You don't want to run the amps too high, otherwise you can cook the traction motors or motor I'm not sure how many this thing has hopefully it's got at least two one per axle otherwise we really are up the creek aren't we so um yes okay well that's actually not doing too bad so far and I know some of you might be saying this thing is going slow as heck and you would be right unfortunately but I think in the grand scheme of things, we are making some good momentum, some good progress. I'm just trying to open this window. There's a certain knack to getting this thing just slightly open like that. There you go. That's, that's what you want. Well, that's what I want. <laughs> okay. Right, so we'll just head on straight out of here, out of uh, Iron Ore Mine West. 
and we're heading south okay so we're heading towards machine factory in town a little bit slowly right now but hopefully we'll be picking up speed in just a moment and any downhills we do encounter what I want to do is just make sure we just make the most of them because we really want to get the momentum going as much as we can with this thing as slowly as it picks up speed I'm hoping that it'll be slow to slow down as well but that probably won't be the case it'll probably ground to a halt the first chance it gets knowing this thing okay so everything's looking good so far if this works this might be the cheapest way of doing some career jobs who knows because uh, the consumables with this thing uh, not as much as say uh, a diesel locomotive or a steam locomotive even it's funny because uh, if you did watch episode 16 back last year around November I did mention that maybe we'll get the uh, SH-282 the big steam engine license in the next episode and here we are driving this tiny tiny little engine this little battery electric micro shunter what am I doing I really don't know so far going nice and steady haven't really changed too much in speed but I can hear it kind of slowing down a little bit so we'll just have to see how this thing goes once we start climbing some of these slight inclines I think we've got some one percent inclines ahead of us so speed limit's only 40 and we're doing just over 10 <laughs> oh boy okay well all we can do is try can't we and if things don't work out well there's always another locomotive down the road hopefully that we can uh, we can run to and ooh, okay picking up some speed now pick up some speed very good I'm gonna try and preserve this momentum as much as I can so I'm keeping the throttle on full even as we barrel right towards the red zone in the speedometer because we're about to go upon a very well a bit of an incline I think and we need all the momentum we can get because this thing has basically no power whatsoever so we've got about 300 ton behind us almost and this thing is only rated for about a hundred ton up a hill so good luck to us come on oh no oh no it's not looking good we'll stick with it because I'm just gonna turn the headlights off to try and save some power not that that's gonna make that much difference come on we just need to make it over this bridge oh that's like a 1.8 percent I think I just spied just there it's well above one percent anyway so uh, no two percent pretty much so that's a hundred ton limit and we're at almost 300 tons so yeah I don't like our chances unfortunately this thing is mm, no I think we're gonna stall let's put the sand on come on come on if we can just crawl over this incline we should be okay come on little shunter you can do this I believe in you I believe in you come on you little battery electric thing don't make me regret going EV <laughs> ah, these battery electrics they're not all they're cracked up to be sometimes are they granted this is only a very very small vehicle so we are pulling about 250 amps our traction motor temperatures are beginning to cook and there goes the warning buzzer telling us that our traction motors are getting too hot this hill is too much for this little locomotive it's it's really struggling I don't like our chances that's almost 300 amps folks I'm gonna have to reduce the throttle just a little bit oh no it's creeping back up towards 300 that's 300 amps almost Oh, it's more like 250 but uh, our traction motor temps are cooking we are absolutely cooking our motors right now this hill is proving too much for this little battery electric oh there it goes well there we go this thing is useless okay well I think there's a way to reset this uh, traction motor breaker yep there we go and hopefully this thing is still serviceable if not then we're walking <laughs> and we're walking to a machine factory in town which is dead ahead of us basically but what I might try and do first is I'm gonna stable these uh, carriages the good thing about derail valley is that there's no traffic on the line 
So you can leave stuff on the main line and you can go have a, a donut or you can go have a lay down and think about your life choices. You can do all sorts of things and then come back, hopefully, uh, after you've done all those things. And you'll find everything is more or less how you left it. So as long as you choose to keep going, that's the important thing. You must not give up. And I'm just I had a bit of a brain fart just there. Just trying to <laughs> disconnect these wagons. Okay, well, I've got the handbrakes on uh, on those wagons. What I'm going to do is, oh, okay, yep, very good. Looks like this thing is still serviceable. So I'm going to pull into machine factory in town and just see what kind of uh, quote unquote talent is available to us there. I'll leave this load of iron ore right here. It's getting a little bit late in the evening as you can see as well. So we might have to um, call it a night in the game at least, have a little sleep. But yes, we'll be going to Machine Factory in town, which is not too far away now. Uh, it's only just up the tracks here just a little bit and we shouldn't be uh, too long now. We are basically right around here. We've just left Iron Ore Mine West. We haven't gone that far actually, so. Um, if I can just, yep, that's good. Just make sure those points are set correctly. I just put this map down properly and see that we're right around here, okay? And we just need to go down here. Machine factory in town, that's my plan B anyway, and I kind of had that ready to go as a bit of a backup plan. So yeah, that was a 1.9% grade, that one, that we were trying to climb. So that was basically only 100 ton that we were only rated for going up there. And to be fair, we were trying to pull over 250, so there you go little thing just could not do it so even though we blew the breaker I think it's still okay but we're gonna need some help so let's go ahead and pull into machine factory in town and uh, we'll probably just call it the night for now and then we'll start the day fresh tomorrow in the game when it's nice and bright because I don't like driving at night time in these videos it's just too dark to see anything and especially for you all watching the video as well can get quite difficult to see things I guess and yes we'll begin tomorrow morning in the game and just see uh, what we can do with regards to continuing our run. We do need to pick up those carriages somehow. So one thing's for certain, we're going to need more than just this little locomotive, that's for sure. Okay, so here's Machine Factory in town. And just to make things even uh, more of a challenge, it started to rain. <laughs> that's just the way things go in Derail Valley. We've left our carriages behind there, as I'm just showing. And as you just saw before, so... Hopefully they're not going anywhere, and yeah, as I just mentioned, we'll pull in here, and hopefully this rain doesn't stick around tomorrow, hopefully it's nice and clear again, because it was a fairly good day, as you saw, it was a clear day, it's just decided it's going to rain right now, and that's not good for uh, traction conditions, because uh, a wet set of tracks, which basically means, uh, well, a wet set of tracks basically means less traction and more wheel slip and all that kind of stuff all the stuff that we don't need when we're trying to haul a somewhat hefty load so I'm just having a bit of a cursory look around uh, to see what kind of locomotives are around here I'm not really seeing anything but there's an engine shed coming up on the right hand side here shortly so we'll have a look and see we're going entirely too fast right now as well but I'm just trying to speed through this thing a bit uh, because I want to see what options we have available to us. Let's get off the throttle actually, down to zero. Uh, locomotive, locomotive, give us something. Give us something, machine factory. Okay, here we go. Yeah, but here's the engine shed. There it is. Yeah, there's a um, DE6, which we can't do anything with because I don't have a license for it yet. But uh, otherwise, it looks like we do have, oh yeah, we've got a diesel hydraulic. We got a shunter. Okay, we got a normal DE2. Hunter. The old DE2, which is basically a twin axle shunter, much like what we've got now, but the one out there is rated for a little bit more weight and it's diesel electric, it's not battery electric like this little toy, I guess you could say. So um, I'm just going to turn everything off and uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and just hit the hay for the night, get the lantern out, see where we're going, and we shall start again fresh tomorrow morning. So just selecting the hours of sleep here. I think we're just going to go all the way through to uh, about 7.30. I think that should do us. We'll get a bit of shutter here and hopefully the weather's good. Let's see. Okay, it's a new morning now. Ooh, okay, very much cloudy still, but looks like the rain has stopped. So good morning, everyone. <laughs> 
Day two in the game, unfortunately, we, uh, yeah, we've had a little bit of a mishap, haven't we, so far? The old BE2 micro shunter hasn't taken us too far with our load of uh, iron ore. We're basically stalled right around there, and uh, we still need to come all the way down to City Southwest and then make our way over to Steel Mill. So that's our plan for today, and hopefully we can achieve that. So let's head on down to the engine shed and uh, get that DE2, that diesel electric uh, hulk of a shunter, shall we? I don't know why I did that, but I just wanted to see what would happen and uh, that was quite satisfying to watch after all of the pain and suffering that this thing has put me through so far in Derail Valley. Not just in this episode, but uh, some of those previous episodes. So um, yeah, take a look at uh, the card up above if you want to see me drive this uh, wretched BE2 around the entire map. Um, I did that video somehow uh, for one reason or another. And uh, yeah, I did manage to pull that off, but uh, this thing just will not die. I, I don't know what will kill this thing, but it's not dead at the moment. So anyway, we're just going to leave this here. And uh, that cost me a little bit of money just to re-rail this thing back onto the rails. But it was kind of morbidly satisfying to watch at the same time as it just went off the tracks there. But anyway, I think that's the last we'll be seeing of the BE2 for a little while. And I shouldn't be so rough on the poor little thing. I know that it's a very small little locomotive and it does try. But uh, unfortunately, it's, it's not really suited to these career mode job, uh, these operations as you could call them. Okay, we need the big boys. And uh, this is only a little big boy right here, but I think the DE2, this diesel electric shunter, not a micro shunter, a normal shunter, this one right here, I think this will fit the bill for today's job. And even then it might struggle a little bit because uh, this thing is on the lower end of the scale still, even when it comes to diesel electrics. So we'll just have to take it easy and hopefully one of these will be sufficient enough to take our load over to the steel mill today and complete this job already. So let's get this thing out of the yard and back towards um, our carriages, which we left behind yesterday in the game, and get all hooked up. So I'm just going to um, say one final goodbye and uh, believe me, if I could throw a grenade or something, I would, but I can't. <laughs> just kidding. I shouldn't be so cruel to the poor little uh, micro shunter, should I? All right, so we've made our way all the way back down, well, back up, I guess, north, back to our wagons, which we uh, abandoned yesterday evening in the game. Oop. And uh, we're back here now, not with the BEV, the little EV shunter, but this time with a proper diesel electric. Okay, and I'm hoping, like I said before, that this will be enough to do... Not good. That's not what we want. Ah, uh, bear with me, folks. Okay, we're all connected up to the load of wagons. So let's see if we can't get this thing started. We are on a bit of a hill, and it is a fairly hefty load, and it's very rapidly moving backwards now, which is in the wrong direction. So we do need to get this thing moving south once again, this train. And uh, I promise you, I will do that. It's going to happen at uh, some point during the day today. It's, it has to happen. Ideally, I should probably just go a little bit further back and try and get a bit of a run up, but I don't really have uh, the time or inclination to do that right now. I just want to get this thing moving. Ooh, okay. It's not looking good so far. Come on. Ooh. Got a bit of wheel slip there. Let's just try and get this train moving and then we'll be rapidly on our way, I'm sure. Come on. Oh, pulling almost 700 amps there. We've got the sand on to prevent wheel slip. It's going to be a bit of a slog, but we are going to pick up speed I'm sure of it come on DE2 you can do this you've got this we're very slowly gaining speed here it's been a bit of a long slog but we are getting there believe it or not we are only just past the bridge only just 
In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if some of the train is still on the bridge. Yep, just the uh, back end of it. Okay. We should be good, we should be good. We'll just keep this train moving towards the steel mill. We've got to pass through a machine factory first. But I'm going to try and keep the pace up now for this run this morning. Not going to waste time. And I'm probably going to break a few speed limits. And hopefully that's not an omen for things to come. I don't want to have to re-rail more than once today. I think once is enough, <laughs> considering how much it costs. Uh, we're doing some great speed right now. Just passing through Machine Factory, there's that BE2. I really don't want to look at that thing anymore, but there it is. One last time, I promise. <laughs> now we are truly barreling along, folks. We're going really well right now, so we'll keep this momentum going. But I don't want to overdo it either. This section of track right here is actually quite fast. That's 120k an hour limit. So that's well over 60 miles an hour. Keep the speed going. And in just a few moments we should be at City Southwest towards the bottom southwest corner of the map. From there we'll be heading east towards the steel mill. As I showed earlier. On the map. But yes, going very well so far, doing 75 k's an hour, which is a very, a very swift, very quick for this engine, that's for sure. And try and make up a bit of lost time here, folks. Oh, we're going into the red. Really pushing things with this old DE2 today. I normally don't drive like this, and I hope that this is uh, not going to end unfavorably. I mean, there's every chance that it could. Ooh, okay, we are pushing it now. We are pushing it, folks. We are pushing it, but we gotta make this time up. We're running behind schedule now, so we're gonna have to just keep the speed going, and hopefully we don't get ourselves in trouble. But onwards we go towards a city southwest nonetheless, and then we'll be heading eastward towards the steel mill shortly after that. So I'll catch you all in just a moment, and hopefully I'm still on the rails. <laughs> Okay, speeding through City Southwest here, or just entering the bounds of City Southwest. And if I'm honest, we're going just a little bit too fast here once again. So I'm going to get onto the brakes a little bit because I'm not exactly comfortable with this. Oh, really pushing it. I should really just slow down, I know, but we've lost too much time. And I want to try and I want to try and get to our destination before too much time too much more time passes okay full throttle we're past city southwest we are heading east now folks so eastward leg and city southwest should be appearing on the horizon quite soon we just need to pass through uh, the farm and oil well uh, the oil well section I guess of the map which is coming up in front of us as well just make sure that these uh, switches are set correctly in front of us Oops, set that to switch. There we go. That was just in the nick of time, that one. Oh, got a 60. Oh, we're doing just over 40, so we should be fine. Okay, so here we are down here. Just past the set of switches. We've got another set, and then we'll be passing through Oil Well Central, then the farm, and then finally Steel Mill, which will be our destination for today. So we'll just pop the little comms radio down and keep the speed moving because we want to keep this thing moving we got a train to haul folks uh, this is very out of character for me i must say <laughs> i should really slow down i really should i do have a bit of money to burn though so if we do come off the rails it's probably not the end of the world but obviously not ideal Okay, we do have another set of points coming up soon, actually. Oh no, they're pointed in the wrong direction. Oh god, um, quick decision point time. Yep, do need to go left. Oh boy, that's only 30. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, 
I guess that's it. I've got to try and get out of here now. And unfortunately, this is my first derailment ever in Derail Valley Simulator. So I think I've done pretty well so far. I think you'll agree. Uh, unfortunately, we've probably caused a whole pile of damage and I need to work out how I'm going to actually crawl out of this thing. There we go. Uh, okay, well, that's it. That is the end of the DE2 now as well. And there's obviously all of our iron ore wagons behind us we are going to need some help folks we are going to need um it looks like the rear carriage there is still trying to work its way settle itself into the terra firma there but yes we're gonna have to re-rail i think because that was a rather stupid mistake that i made just now going through those set of points it was completely unexpected that I'd have to go through a 30k an hour limit point there I guess wasn't expecting that and that was way too fast so we were doing well over the speed limit there and yes this was well deserved I think because at the end of the day I was going way way too fast okay well I'm just digging deep here to grab my little comms radio and for the second time today in the game I'm going to be re-railing some vehicles. So let's re-rail the locomotive. Whoops, I think I've re-railed that in the wrong direction. And that costs a few thousand dollars each time, mind you. So this is going to be an expensive endeavor. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to change the direction of this thing now that I've already re-railed it. So we're just gonna have to drive the rest of the way in reverse. <laughs> uh, nope, don't wanna clear it. Uh, nope. Okay, well, let's just re-rail everything else. So yes, you'll see the little uh, price props up each time. So this is gonna cost me thousands of dollars, folks. And I'm sure I'm gonna have to pay the full copay as well, fee-wise. So yeah, unfortunately, we're probably gonna lose half of our money. We had about 120 grand at the start of this. Well, I'm sure we're gonna lose easily 60 to $70,000 just from doing all of this shenanigans. So what's the moral of this story? The moral of this story is do not derail your train. As much as this thing is called Derail Valley, ah, oh God, that's annoying. Um, that's not what you should be doing here, okay? So um, I'm gonna clean up here. I'm not gonna put you all through this. I just need to recouple everything back up again. And um, in order to do that, I just need to compress these wagons up. Uh, I'll reconnect everything and then we'll uh, We'll head on on our merry way once again, shall we? Okay, well, yep, it's been a fairly uneventful run back towards our destination. And we are finally here, I must say. So I'm um, very thankful for that. We haven't caused any more problems, haven't encountered any more issues, thankfully. We've just been driving nice and uh, moderately for the most part and uh, trying not to um, get into any more trouble. So I'm going to head on over to the siding where we need to leave these wagons and then we'll validate the job, make our money and then we'll do a bit of a summary and just see how much damage we've caused today, especially to the wallet. And that's the part that I really am not looking forward to. So see you in just a moment. Don't ask what I'm doing. I'm trying to uh, speed shunt here and uh, just <laughs> I just want to, I just want to validate this job already. It's gone on too long and unfortunately it was very ill-conceived, I think, in the first place. I think you'll agree. The BE2 micro shunter is not suited for these big jobs and this is not even a big job. I mean, this, these wagons were only less than 300 tons. So in the end, I kind of learned my lesson here. And it's been a, quite an eventful episode, I think, in career mode. I think you will agree. But we've made it. So um, let's go and validate this job, make our money, and do some summarizing. Okay, so here's the career manager, which uh, I'm kind of scared of a little. Oh, there we go. There's all those fees that I was expecting. Actually, I think some of these fees were actually from last time as well. So I can't, I can't be too hard on myself. It does want me to pay the 76-odd thousand dollars to clear the copay, uh, well, that's the copay that I need to pay anyway. You can see here that uh, regular wear and tear, yeah, that's definitely not the damage that we've caused today. We've caused a whole pile more damage than that. We've made our 15 odd thousand dollars or so, whatever it is, and uh, we're back up to 123 grand, but unfortunately, we are going to need to pay a lot of money to get these fees down. So we need to pay 76 grand 
to um, clear our fees off. And yeah, that's going to leave us with only, yeah, there we go. Severe damage. Yep. Severe damage. That will be for the BE2, I believe, that one. Uh, don't worry, you're insured. So vehicle damage, as you can see, there's quite a bit of money. But I think the copay actually has worked out quite well because if you add up all of those costs there on the screen, basically comes out to way in excess of $80,000. So the fact that we only, well, we only need to pay 76. It's still a bit of a discount, I guess, uh, when you think about it. Uh, but yeah, I won't lie, the copay is very high right now that I have, unfortunately. That's just the way that it is because I've got quite a few licenses here. And as you get more and more licenses, your copay or your excess fees go up. So I must say though, at the beginning of this episode, the copay remaining uh, was still 76K. So have I just caused a whole bunch of damage and uh, basically still remained within the $76,000 copay limit? It's possible. Let me know what you think in the comments below anyway. Uh, maybe I've got that wrong, but just to wrap up today's episode, we did make our way down from Arnold Mine West with the old BE2. We got stalled right around there, uh, had to leave the train uh, and then pick up the DE2. Made our way towards City Southwest, but um, after that ran into a bit of issues on the way to Steel Mill as we saw there. So yes, it was quite an eventful career mode episode I think today, probably one of the more eventful ones almost. Uh, but yes, we've been through some trials and tribulations so far. Like I said, check out the description if you haven't seen some of those previous career mode episodes. Uh, if you want to see more of uh, how I got to this point. But yes, I think in the next episode, we will look to get the uh, SH-282 license. Okay, so um, I want to get that big steam engine license. And now I've got the expert shovel as well. I did get that in a previous uh, kind of episode as well. It'll be interesting, interesting to try and drive that big steamer with the expert shovel and uh, shoveling all that coal. So yeah. Made it in good time, 6 p.m. now in the game. So yes, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please consider sharing the video, I should say, um, if you did enjoy it and think others may enjoy it. Uh, but yes, uh, I will catch you all in the uh, next one.